Hello there, welcome to Ennis Models and welcome to this little tutorial here on my top five picks of best scale models that I have built. Now, yes, this isn't going on about every single kit there is out there. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people who probably disagree in a lot of ways because this is, as I say, it's what I think and it's also what I have built. Big difference there. I mean, there's a lot of kits out there I haven't built, which I think probably, you know, are really, really good, but I'm going off of what I built. So first off, I want to start off with um, something that I would highly recommend anybody who's returning to the hobby, a beginner, you know, something quick, fun and easy to build. And this has to be it. It is Eddard's Spitfire in 148th scale. I mean, this thing really does go together so, so beautifully. And the surface detail, if we take a look, is absolutely sublime, right? I mean, there is all that very fine little rivet work that is on this um, and it's it doesn't come to the foreground like massively. You can just see these light little rivets brings the detail out just that light little bit um, bigger rivets where it's needed and uh, just the surface detail is absolutely gorgeous um, it, it fits very very well as well um, and they have reboxed the hell out of this I mean we've got mark ones mark twos uh, the mark nine um, all different spitfires going on there um, you've even got um, so much aftermarket parts with it you know Eddard with all their resin with all their photo etch you know we can have you know engines going on in here um, um, resin cockpits um, I do believe you can have your flaps um, gun bays, I mean, there is so much on here that you could be basic with it, but you could get so advanced with it as well. Um, now, if you're not a big fan of Spitfires, don't worry, because you know what? They did a Mustang, they did um, um, Tempest, Zeros, you know, all these kind of nice little easy to build World War II, and they're all just as pretty much as good as our Spitfire just here. So that is one of my top picks. Next up, we've got a little bit of armor. Now, I did this a fair few years ago. It is Tamiya's 135th scale um, Sherman, just, just there. I uh, did this years ago, um, and you know what? It was just, it went together, you know, pretty much like a glove. You know, did put quite a nice bit of extra work into this. Right, I mean, hopefully you can see we did all this kind of stowage on here, um, all sorts of um, bit of woodwork even at the back and even at the front here, we've got a bit of woodwork going on, you know, really kind of going off a lot of reference photos, bit of camo netting as well, you know, helmets, bits and bobs. Um, and then the weathering as well, you know, we, um, I think it was around about where I was really sort of um, myself kind of doing a bit of armor and you know doing all the kind of f funky weathering that you could do for all the streaking um, I think there was like modulation there was um, all sorts of cool techniques that I put into this one so yeah um, hopefully you're liking that really cool bit of armor um, moving along with the next one now the next one was one that I didn't think would be the best but um, do you know what? I just, some reason, just loved building this one just here. This is the TBF Avenger. Now, this is by Hobby Boss in 148 scale. It is, as you can see, quite a big, big bird. Um, now, <laughs> everything about this, you know, if you if you watch the step by step on it, you know, pretty much everything about this kind of almost got me thinking, car, this is going to be a terrible fit problems with it just the way they kind of had this manufactured to go together um the whole wing section the way it sort of you kind of lock it in and click it in um it just kind of went against the way something would fit together nicely but for somehow some reason it just did right i think it was something like you would lock the fuselage halves together um, and that's it, you know, the way it's constructed is once you kind of bring them together, it just locks together and it's virtually, you're gonna break something if you try and pull it apart. So 
the whole process of being able to sort of bring your fuselage halves together and test fit them, correct any problems, you know, it, you just couldn't do it because once you brought it together, it just locked together. Um, and you think there's going to be a fit issue, but it just, you know, it just didn't in the end. Um, and I think what I love about it, what really sort of got me going was the actual, um, the, the spray work, the, the color scheme, the pattern, um, just something to do with, you know, we've got all this lovely um, recessed rivet work going on there, lovely surface detail, and there was just something about, you know, doing all your um, pre-shading, post-shading, bleaching, and the color of this just really sort of set it off and made it really, really enjoyable. This one is a bit more of a challenging build, right, but it was very satisfying at the end so uh, that is another one of my top five picks right now the next one um, i don't actually have the kit because when i used to do all that commission work way back 10 years ago um, i built a lot of these this is um, airfix's 148 scale lightning um, not an aircraft i would pick but because i was doing commission work it was one of these that um, i sort of kind of had to do but when i was doing it absolutely loved it wasn't the best fit there was a few little issues with it um but it was just very very enjoyable it's one of those kind of weird builds that you don't think's going to be the best but for some reason it just it was just totally and utterly enjoyable really do highly recommend it can't wait for airfix to actually re-release it again um, you know they do this sometimes airfix they kind of release a kit um it's fantastic and then you just don't see it for years and then they kind of re-release it again. Um, so hopefully I'll bring out one of them um, sometime in the future. Now my last top five best scale models I've ever built is one that I'm building right now. I haven't fully built it, but I've built it enough to be like, this is a really, really nice kit. Um, and it is this one just here. It is Ming's FA-18. I'm doing this as a, an advanced step-by-step. -step. So um, it's kind of more me building it than doing filming. I'll kind of do maybe about uh, two or three episodes on it. But um, here it is. It is this beauty just here. It's one in 48th scale. Um, I've built FA-18s before in the past, but this one... I mean, it, it, it's just fitting so beautifully. The surface detail is so, so nice. If I just get it out for you, I mean, it's just, it's just one of these kind of kits that kind of blows you away with the way it goes together. Because FA-18s, they are complex shapes in themselves, which is quite a challenge for manufacturers to actually um, bring a kit together that actually kind of fits well. Right, I mean, has Gowies um, had a good go at it, but even there was a couple of issues there. But this thing, I mean, you kind of look at how this is going together, right? And it just fits so beautifully. I mean, this then goes on top of here, and that is just fitting so beautifully on there, right? I mean, the surface detail is very, very gorgeous as well looking at that but like on this underside bit here if we come in um, this sort of slides underneath here right but it's just how you know I, I mean without any major sort of test fit I mean this takes a little bit to get in this bit does to be fair right just to line it up but it just lines up so perfectly right I mean it's it's a complex shape and normally you'd have to deal with a lot with this but it's just how you know things like this just kind of come together quite nicely i mean you can't even t or, i mean if you just look where that was joined if i open it up there's the gap but like it just fits so so beautifully um even the air intakes and um, just coming back to the air intakes i mean you know these I mean, looking at this complex shape, right, this fits just in there. It fits so beautifully. And look at that detail inside there as well for our wheel well. Um, also, again, very, very gorgeous. Um, this comes on top of here, right? Um, I know this is a bit of a loose fit at the moment, but it does fit absolutely gorgeously. Right, let's get that in there, right? And you can... If I just get it just just right, 
hopefully as you can see a bit of a, a loose fit there I'll kind of pinch it a little bit um, and it just gets rid of those gaps so so nice push that in there uh, even at the back here I mean still probably going to be a bit of work um, at the back just there but I mean it is such a nice nice beautiful fit um, really really enjoying this um, as i'm going along with it can't wait to finish it highly highly recommended and um, there's loads of other kits out there that i'd recommend but i just thought i'd go with the top five hopefully that has sort of brought you a bit of interest a bit of a mojo boost maybe even kind of got you thinking about what you'd like to do um, as your next build or if you've just come to the hobby you know I do really highly, highly recommend those Eddard um, World War II fighters in 148 scale. Great place to start in the hobby. But as always, until next time, my name is Bob Waldron, this is Genesis Models, and I hope you've enjoyed.